All right, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Um, thank you for tuning into the show. We appreciate it uh, a lot. Um, there's some funny calls today, some good stuff going on. Um, so, yeah, thank you for that. Oh, I got a beep, 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 a beep, beep going on here. Um, yeah, so um, the Racial Harmony show turned out kind of funny. I think there's some good calls coming in. 4chan again had some pretty funny stuff. Um, some pretty funny calls coming from there. Good job. And, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone, for watching. I mean, uh, we've been doing this for a while. It's been kind of silly. Um, you know, shoot me any questions that you see coming out, by the way. There, Stephen. But, uh, yeah, there was some good stuff. That guy, that guy who called up to be pretty mad, that was a legit call, eh? Steven? Uh, oh, I was just reading that. Sorry. Yeah, there was. A there's, that, there's a couple of real anger ones there today that were pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I think there was, there was a couple of good ones. I actually broke down today. They had me laughing at the, um, that guy had a good call about, the, <laughs> about how they all like to cycle. <laughs> Yeah. That one actually broke the character. I actually one had me laughing on that one. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> yeah, there was there was actually a few good ones. Shout out to uh, what is that Val, Valhalla Gaming. Shout out to TJ's birthday. <laughs> that was a good one. Good submission there. Um, so yeah, I don't know if anybody has not seen the show before. We've been doing this for a little bit. Um, you know, we like to kind of play these kind of silly Christ characters that are kind of ignorant and you know a bit of idiots and you know it's kind of fun just we kind of put ourselves in a position to be made fun of you know to kind of get some laughs and for, get some chuckles um to the contrary we're not making any cash doing this for so for that asshole and in b that's always claiming oh they're fucking making bank man they're fuck google adsense fuck you man if we were making money at this i wouldn't have to work you know i would do this i'd be here every night not once a week so, and by the way, if you know how to, uh, that we can, you know, get rich off of Google AdSense, send me a goddamn email because, you know, Christ. <laughs> yeah, that's a good impersonation. Thank you. Fuck with that making money, man. Um, yeah, kind of shit. Um, but yeah, I mean, we like to, you know, make a bunch of nutty videos and anything. If you found it funny, check us out on Facebook. Go to JesusChatLine.com and click the F there. I don't know. I'll run some of our clips there. I'm looking at the chat, so if anybody has any funny questions or... Shout out to Chad. Yeah, Chad did a good show tonight. Good job, Chad. Shout out to the nigga that stole my bike. Yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to Danny Glover's inviting smile. Good one. <laughs> shout out to Dolan. Awesome. Um... Shout out to Latino Americans taking my bikes. Shout out to Pearl Harbor. Shout out to Pearl Harbor by the Chinese, apparently. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll run some um, funny clips, I guess, for a little bit. Steven got slapped again. Second day in a row. He took it well. Shout out to Curry. Shout out to Curry. Um, so anyway, yeah, man, we, we do these silly things. I don't know. I'll just run a couple clips. If you guys want to see a, a funny video that you remember, call it out. Like, we do stuff like this and... Yeah, that's a popular one. <laughs> that's our latest one, actually. <laughs> Some other ones we've done. God yeah, so, I mean, we made a lot of these kind of videos the dream of a new house of with production value to kind of make it seem like, uh, true word uh, to gain credibility, Bible. you know, to make them look like they're Thus legit. I mean, that's the one thing I think that causes folks to kind of go, well, wait a minute here. Because, I mean, us in front of the stupid, you know, closet, uh, it has pretty low production value, but some of these things kind of make folks believe it a little bit more. Ishmael is, ish, Ishmael? Ishmael. Ishmael. Ishmael is a faggot. So, do, I don't know, stuff like this. Oh, here's a good one. 
who would take the time to make that? We would. I mean, we've done shows live from prison. Yeah. All right, guy in B is saying, you know, loving the free comedy you guys put out. Where did the idea of the show come from? Um, well, it came from a couple different things, actually. I mean, we were uh, we we kind of found the idea of social broadcasting kind of interesting, and we kind of liked uh, going on there and messing with folks. Is I think what we kind of got started at, and we did that for quite a while before we, uh, you know, going on giving people a hard time kind of thing, having some fun, and then we made a couple shows that did real bad i think we had uh bong jovi was one of them it was a trivia show the guy with the corona mask yeah we made a bunch of stuff that just you know we do it and we get like 15 viewers no one would watch the thing and we just finally sat down one day i think hey eh? yeah we just sat down one day and went like okay well what's this you know how do we get people watching this and we kind of thought well we kind of enjoy you know tr- you know having poking fun at other people's shows what if we kind of created a show where that encouraged people to kind of call us up and make fun of us kind of thing, you know, because that's what we kind of liked the most when we would be doing that. And then it just kind of grew from there. I think that's a pretty accurate description, would you say? Or Yeah, yeah. yeah that's about it. something that um, people are going to get angry about, whether they're religious or not. Yeah, I mean, in the... Or they're yeah. going to be offended. Yeah, the religion angle, too. I mean, nothing gets people pissed off by some asshole going, listen, you know, you need to be doing this, otherwise your life is crap or... You know, this and that and the other thing, you know. And somebody telling somebody what to do isn't always <laughs> taken well. Anywho, um, any other questions, definitely shut them out. Um, what else have we done? Uh, we have, uh, uh, there was a couple. Yeah, I mean, More children's chat line. Yeah, children's chat line turned out to be kind of funny. That was just an idea we just... I was just Googling images of funny school kids one day, and it just kind of grew into this idea of like, well, it kind of builds the credibility of the show because they're not going to be on there making fun of kids, are they? You're damn right they are. <laughs> yeah, Josh was Boston. Why are you so into it? All right. Uh, another one we've done. Um, we did a show live from Japan. That was a good one. Why do I hang out with a young man on the weekends? Lifestyle choices. <laughs> How do we keep a straight face? That's a good question. Yeah. Zoning out. I mean, I don't say I'm sitting here and I'm believing that I'm Richard Burnish, but I mean, I, I, you know, we try and, you know, legitimately get into it. Like, we're how would a real Christian act or whatever? But for me, I, for me, I kind of developed a technique where I just stare at a single spot on the wall. There's a little mark on the wall over there. Maybe one day I'll shoot a picture of it. And I just try and focus. <laughs> I try and focus at looking at the spot. And that. I mean, it, it seems to help me. How about you, Stephen? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I can't explain it. But I, I think I just try and really pretend that I'm that character. Yeah. And there's only a couple things that almost made me laugh. And I forget what the one thing was today. But I don't know. I usually, for whatever reason, I... I've just gotten used to doing it. It's yeah. No, me as well. I mean, you kind of expect a couple of the jokes too that come in. Like they're like they're there a lot of them are fresh and unique. The fresh, unique ones are the ones that often choke you up. I mean, I hadn't laughed in quite a few shows to be honest. I mean, I think I was coming off a three-show record of no laughing, and today that guy who got me with the uh, you know the Latinos, Latino Americans like biking because they've stolen four of my bikes. Like, that one totally fucking broke me down. And I almost put myself into, like, a dark kind of frame of mind where I'm not laughing, but I'm also not enjoying the show as it's going on because I can't laugh at it. Yeah. But then when it's over and we rewatch it, that's when I that's have fun laugh. and laugh. Yeah, that's, you're right, man. That's where I get some of the humor, too. And a lot of time when I'll be sitting here, I'll kind of be acting like it's, oh, man, I got to fucking do this show or, or something like that. Yeah. We have a shout out to the Shout out to the AIDS filled pool. That was a good one too. And please shout out to Jason and Austin. Shout out to Jason and Austin. Bro. Grab. Um, before so a lot of folks are asking what what Steven and I did before the show. Well, we were actually um, we met in California where the, the show is. 
um, we were both um, Hollywood. We, we were did, we were background actors, um, kind of used in in films where they would use they would use our backs and and, and stuff like that, backing as it's called in the business. Um, where we did um, we were stand-ins or another thing that they're called. Um, we did stuff like a Lord of the Rings, uh, Kick Ass. We have a couple clips here. So in this film, I was uh, a stand-in for Elijah Wood. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. So they he obviously edit out the shots of me to show means. Elijah, but the shots of the back and everything are all of me that are in the movie. <laughs> and I think Stephen and I first met on the set on the scene of, uh, sorry, on the set of that film. And um, and. Uh, Shout out to Noel and Tony. They're fags. Here's uh, another one that we did for uh, the troops, the men of the army. A little homage. This is a little ditty that we wrote. for the men of the army, not the women. The women have a different video. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll show that one in a little bit. Anyway, um, what else we got? Um, the Rapture Show. We did that one. That was a good one. I don't know why it's not rolling. Ah, oh, well, that'd be why. That yeah, was kind of fun. <laughs> what else have we done? We used to have the thing where we'd end the show on a kind of yeah, a, we'll a cliffhanger, a little bit. something extreme. Like this one, I think, was one of our first well, shows. We ended it up with a, uh, well, one of these. Oh, <laughs> and that kind of nonsense, but... Anyway, yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in and, you know, with the funny calls and sending us some funny stuff. That's been awesome. Um, if you like the show, definitely add us to uh, Facebook. Go to JesusChatline.com and click the F in the top corner there, as if I just told you to click the F. Anyway, go to JesusChatline.com, and that's where you'll find our Facebook. Um, add us up. That's what we say, you know, when we'll be doing our next show. Um, you know, we'll kind of let you know what the theme is going to be of it, or we'll take uh, submissions from, from people with their videos, sending stuff in. Um, some pictures, if you find some funny pictures for the children's chat line, <laughs> anything. So definitely add us up on there to uh, get in the know, um, if you liked it, that is. Um, and we have a new server, actually, don't we? We play games on there and stuff, too. We have, actually, we just bought ourselves a Team Fortress 2 server. So uh, sign on, friend us, and come kill us on Team Fortress 2. We've not played it before, but we've got a server, and it's going to be good. Thanks to the fucking donations of the people, by the way. Big shout-out to Lowell and Matt and Jordan and Mr. Glass and everyone else who sent the money for, for, for the donations uh, for, for um, the show. Appreciate that, guys. We're going to play. Um, I'm not going to hug the mic too much. I'm going to hand it off to Steven to rock the mic. Um, anyway, thank you guys very much for tuning in, and uh, I'll be on Facebook after this, so definitely send me a message and say, say hey. What else? All right, I'm going to pass it off to Stephen for like a CD was skipping. Oh, shut up. Shut your mouth, sir. All right. Welcome, everybody. Or not welcome. Thank you for joining us. Get the chat up here. Give me one second. 
And we're gonna go. Sh- yeah, shout out to the dog. Um. There we go. That's better. All right. So, um, thank you for joining us, everybody. My name is Stephen, and I'll be taking your questions and doing shout-outs here before we sign off for the evening. Um, Shout-out to Mary Roberts. Okay, Renegade Pastry, if you have a question, go ahead. Uh, Shout-out to Lane Moon. He's gay for Stephen. Shout-out to to Lowell, Fire in the Lowell. Um, so yeah, so thanks for joining us. We, um, we thought we'd do our racial harmony show. We were going to do it a couple weeks ago. We had to cancel it. So we figured we'd do it this time around. And, um, we didn't really have an ending planned. We were going into it wondering whether I should get my revenge or whether we just moved along as though nothing had happened. And that's kind of the, um, approach we took because we were still going to try and keep the show relatively normal looking um and uh, but as it went on we thought all right how do we end this do we do a rage quit or do i get my revenge and then we thought well what if we just did the exact same thing we did last week and i get slapped in the face again so that's what we did so maybe next time i'll get my revenge i don't know we'll see um so we have a a shout out to gary malloy local faggot um, shout out to Pogo Sticks. Um, a shout out to, and I can't see the, uh, hang on, I'm going to move over the, um, the B window here so I can do some shout outs off of B as well. Just a second. Shout out to Ario Teabaggin, who's got a pretty funny name. Hello, it's me again. Shout out to my bromate, David. Um, okay, so we have here, let's see. On, okay, we have, um, do you plan to continue this show just for lulls or start some new show? Um, we have done a couple other shows in the past. We've done one called Heart Issues. Is this the real thread up there? That's the real thread, yeah. So we've, it's kind of met with some success, but not, obvious, yeah, we don't get the, the people out for it that we do for this one, but we like to do different stuff every now and then. We do, Sh- we, go ahead, what was that one? Shout out to Jews in the NASA program. Shout out to Jews in the NASA program. Shout out to not knowing which fucking chat Stephen's talking about. Oh, shout out to not knowing which chat Stephen's talking about, yeah. Shout out to the cake, R.I.P. Sweet Prince. Shout out to the cake, R.I.P. Sweet Prince. Shout out to Dumpster Babies. And we have a shout out to Ball Chipotle. Is Chad real? That's the question we get a lot of. And that one is going to remain a mystery. Maybe Chad's real. Maybe Chad's not real. How many times have you gotten laid in the past month? Um, How many times have we gotten laid in the past month? Um, Too many times to count. Enough that we can only do the show once a week. Um, Shout out, the, uh, that monitor next to you is huge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, actually, it's a, uh, the monitor next to us is huge. It's uh, a television. And what we do is we've got like a chat running there. And then we also kind of have the, uh, the B thread up on there, too. So while we're, whoever's on the mic can kind of like glance over and see what's happening there. And then we've got um, Richard over here. Manning our um, our uh, B um, unit there. That's also got everything on there. And um, 
Yes. Um, and shout out to Russell Jimmy's. Shout out to Russell Jimmy's. Uh, no, we don't turn off the TV. We keep the TV going. Shout out to my smelly ball sweat. Um, shout out to his smelly ball sweat. Shout out to anal prolapses everywhere. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's about it. Thanks to everyone for watching, and um, thanks... Thanks to everyone on our Facebook pages because we have a lot of fun there. There's a lot of funny stuff posted. We kind of run ideas by people. They, you know, we kind of do some, uh, we have some game servers running off of there. So if you head over to our website, jesuschatline.com, click the link. They can get, you can get to our Facebook page. Shout out to Earthworm Jim and you two faggots are awesome. Uh, shout out to Earthworm Jim and you two faggots are awesome. Well... Okay, someone wants to know if we really are in public access. And absolutely, we are on Montclair Public Access Television. Um, are any of you drunk? No, no. I, um, we used to take a shot before every show. We'd kind of do a little cheers and take a shot. And we have drank a little bit. But as a rule, no, we stay pretty, pretty clear-headed. I was drinking Coke tonight and... Uh, Richard had a couple of, couple of carbonated waters. No, he had a couple beers, but that's about it. We're not drunk. Shout out to Jason and Austin from Naples. Shout out to Jason and Austin from Naples. Shout out to Jessica and Jim Russells. Uh, Je- shout out, oh, Jessica and Jim Russells, yes. I said, God damn it, shout out to Taylor Swift. God damn it, shout out to Taylor Swift. Um, shout out to Chloe. A shout out to Chloe. Um, do we have sex with each other? Just asking. Um, well, there's this website called... Um, no, what's that website called? Someone help me out. Oh, I ruined the joke. I wasn't fast enough on the draw. What is that website called? What's the one that... Oh, never mind. No, no. The one... I can't remember the name. It's It's... You go on there and you have the cam going and it's... Oh, chat roulette. No, not chat roulette. It's meant for people who are being exhibitionists and whatnot. Cam 4, yeah, yeah. No, only on Cam 4. Richard and I do a weekly show on on Cam 4, actually. How did you pull that one? Steven, go shirtless. Steven, go shirtless. Um... I would, but um, this, this, I, I'm so shredded, I just wouldn't want to intimidate anybody. I do P90X quite regularly, um... Tony Horton, perhaps you've heard of him. Steven, say N. S- okay, N. There, I've said it. Um, so here's what I want to know. I have a question that I'm going to pose. So we've been doing these shows a little more on the straight side and relying on the callers to be inappropriate. So it seems now that the viewership is pretty steady, but it's leveled out, wouldn't you say, Richard? Like, we had about 2,000 people. We've had more. But I think more of those people were coming when they thought they were attacking the show. It seems more people on B now are uh, know what's the deal, but they watch it anyway, which is great. So the question is, do we keep doing what we're doing, or do we go back to a little more silliness now that maybe we have a little bit of an established audience. And that's the question I'll pose. What do you think, Richard? Tough call. I don't know. Someone's saying both. Red the Falcon is saying both. I'll let it be in a moment. Maybe it should be a mixture of both. I don't know. Maybe it should be a hybrid of the two. B says you're an N. Um, okay. Stephen, show us your intellectual hairline. Oh, yeah. Well, here's the hairline. And Shout out to dead babies and clowns. And, clown and when you get to this age, and if you still have this amount, you'll probably be pretty happy. Stephen, keep doing what you're doing. 
Keep doing what you're doing, someone says on B. And B Tower should get some serious advertising on real Christian forms. Oh, yeah. B, someone says that B, on B said that B should get to work on uh, advertising on Christian forums. No, that's not bad. Some, a lot of the humor, a lot of the humor used to come out of um, people thinking it was Christians thinking it was real. Yeah, challenging Richard, and then Richard didn't really know, in all fairness, what he was talking about, and a lot of humor kind of came out of that. Um, shout out to Robert Ackerman. Um, can we see the dog? Well. Um, Shout out to Aubrey. He's gay for Irish guys. I thought by Aubrey you were talking about um, Aubrey on The Apprentice. Um, yeah, there's different... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so there's different ways we can take the show, and I don't know. We'll just... We'll just play it by ear as we always do. And uh, so we'll do just a couple more questions and shout outs, and then we're going to sign off for the night. Um, shout out to ENDS. Uh, someone just told us to S STFU. There's going to be a meme now, probably. Yeah. All right. Shout out to Coney. What a guy, says Dr. Kenzu Tenma. So there were, there were some good calls tonight. There were, you know, there was some funny ones. And uh, so thanks to everyone for calling. Add us to, the book, man. Add us to Facebook. Thanks to everyone, um, to all our Facebook faithful and our regulars. And to anyone who's new tonight, anyone who um, came across this for the first time and got a kick out of it, well... It's good to have you along and uh, watch us uh, next week. We typically do a show once a week, usually on Sundays. And Facebook is the place where we uh, will announce when the next show is going to be. Get revenge, says Polly. I'm going to get revenge on you next week, Richard. Yeah, do it. I think so too. We have an idea for that, but it would have called for me not being in the show, which is fine. I don't mind absolutely turning it over to Richard. He does a great job. So... That's what's going to happen next time for this idea to work. But um, Okay. Well, I guess we're going to maybe leave it at that. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching as usual. And uh, we'll be talking to you one way or another. Yeah, maybe come grab us on, on, on the book. Yeah, yeah. Over yeah, we're going to head over to Facebook. So um, to welcome all our new... Uh, people. And with that, this is uh, Stephen Shilton and Richard Burnish signing off, and Chad signing off once again. And hope you enjoyed another Jesus chat line. Good night, and we'll talk to you soon.